had seen this one pop up in the comments a couple of times and this week I put a poll up on Twitter and Instagram and on my community tab to see if you guys wanted me to make an Irish breakfast on the channel. If you're new around here, I do not enjoy cooking. It is not something I am good at. I do, however, really enjoy eating. And I also enjoy drinking. Look, 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 look. Plastic glass, cheap fizz. Before we get into the video, do subscribe or you. They got food poisoning. And also, another thing I have to tell you about is. Brand new merch! What Brand new merch! Check Brand new merch! Ah! It can be warm! So much fun, it's just they can read it. Warm mm. and style. A couple of you guys had asked me for more variety of styles, so I went on Patreon and I asked the guys for their ideas, and this was the winning idea. I think it's very funny. Ha ha ha. Back it up, back it up, right, hands up, there you go, right, and read it, read it. Back to the past. The interesting thing about today's meal is that unlike other stuff I've made on this channel, I've definitely made about 80% of this stuff before, but I haven't made all of it before because you know when you're cooking for yourself, you cook the things you like and I don't like black and white pudding and I don't like mushrooms. I'm going to start with the mushrooms because... I don't know what I'm doing. So today I will be cooking for Paul, which is nice. In case you didn't know, Paul tends to give me a really low mark whenever I cook for him or prepare anything for him or take him anywhere. He's a hard to please man. Here's a message he sent me earlier. We have an hour to cook a good fry up and I'm very hungry. So this is my dinner. This is probably my breakfast dinner and lunch the whole time. So I'm looking forward to it now. Okay, so it's quite a lot of pressure from a person who never scores high. Okay, with the mushrooms, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I went for these baby mushrooms over regular mushrooms because I thought they looked cute. I think you're supposed to wash them. Oh, clean! Oh, clean! That one fell on the floor. It's still good. I think you are supposed to cut the stems off these from when I've seen other people eating them. So let's try that. Yeah, mushrooms are good. I just don't get why you'd want to eat a... What are they? A fungus? I have mushrooms in things, to be fair, and I don't really notice them so much. So it's not to say I'll never like mushrooms, but right now I'm like, Whoa. Oh, a huge thing that differentiates the Irish breakfast from the English breakfast is black pudding and white pudding. And everything you've heard about it is true. It is the blood of pigs. I feel the conflict in you. But you know, why not? You eat all the other bits of pigs, so... Unless you're a vegetarian. In which case, I don't know why you're watching this video. It'd be like watching an awful murder going on screen. Again, I'm not too sure how to prepare these. I'm gonna presume I need to cut the plastic off. Just pop them out. I always make it look so appetizing. <gasps> oh, what's going in my nails? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Make it sit down. <laughs> I may have missed my bed, but I'm still okay. Uh, I need to wash my hands. I'm gonna need some more of this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, now the next thing I'm gonna prep is the bread. So a big component of Irish breakfasts is bread. And generally you can have any type of bread you like. You can have soda bread, you can have brown bread, white bread. You can have an assortment of breads. You could even have a croissant if you're feeling fancy. Today I went for an on the fence one. I went for half brown, half white bread. Best of both worlds. Diane is getting sued. La, 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 la. And of course, still not sponsored, but you can't put any butter on it except Kerrygold because all other butters pale in comparison. So a real Irish breakfast has Kerrygold. I'm just doing this out of the goodness of my heart and to let you know what the actual good brands are. That's a lot of butter seemingly, but trust me, you need this much butter. Oh, I wanna eat some of this right now. Oh, in the last video, a lot of you guys pointed out that me and Paul weren't wearing hairnets. I don't know what show you think you're watching, but this is my kitchen. It's not Good Morning America. There's no food hygiene authority in my kitchen. There is a dog though, and he's sanitary. Whoever comes here is risking their health, but I can say that while I'm not good 
at cooking. I am good at cleaning, but I'm not gonna wear a hairnet because no. Mm. We're getting a little cycle. He had two pieces of bread and now he has one piece of bread, but you know what? Tough. This next part is so important. So some people have tomatoes with their Irish breakfast, but I prefer to go with Ballymillo relish, which is the greatest relish of all time. If you come to Ireland, you need to try this. It's so good. And to me, it's definitely better than the fried tomato. So we're going to give Paul that today. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so this one's controversial, but I think you should always have baked beans with an Irish breakfast. Many people ask what is the difference between an English and an Irish breakfast, and some people say that the ultimate thing is baked beans. To me, you have to have baked beans with your breakfast, and the only brand that's worth having is Heinz, because beans means Heinz, and I'm still not sponsored. Irish beans are totally different to American beans. You can cook them in the microwave, but to me, the best way to eat them is out of a pan on the hob. Oh, the next big thing I had trouble with at the supermarket was when I was selecting tea as a non-tea drinker, the whole Barry's Lions thing came into play. If you're not familiar, a lot of people quarrel over whether Barry's tea or Lions tea is the nicest. So I felt torn. And then I remembered somebody had randomly sent me Irish breakfast tea to try. They hadn't included their name, but we're gonna use that today so as not to piss off anyone. Or maybe we'll end up pissing off everyone. And that's the internet. As a non-tea drinker, I've been given advice to use an actual China cup. I'll be honest, I don't know if it's actually China. Probably not, because it's microwave safe, but it looks nice. The next thing that we have to think about is the rashers and the sausages. So these are totally different than American and Canadian rashers and sausages. The sausages in Ireland are pork sausages. So in Ireland, the only way to go is Denny's when it comes to rashers. Galti might have a problem with that, but I like Denny's. Okay, so I think we're ready to throw everything onto the frying pan. And that's basically the next step. Also, eggs. You may be thinking at this stage, what could go wrong? <laughs> Many things. Generally speaking, when I'm cooking for myself, I use the two cal spray, but Paul is a growing boy, so he's getting oil. I mean, nothing good for you about Irish breakfast, by the way. It's just bad for you. Also, I put my beans on. So, you know, mm. usually when I cook an egg, I like to flip it over and add salt and pepper, but today I'm trying to do a traditional style, so good luck me. The idea with a fried egg is to leave like the yellow bit so that you can dip your bread in it. Ooh. Bubble, bubble. Everything is cooking away nicely, but I've realized not everything fits in my pan. So we're gonna have to space this out. Like the idea here is that they all kind of mix together and it's all like a montage of food. You can't say montage of food, that's not a thing. Ooh, getting there. It seems like everything is cooked except for the sausages. So we'll just give the sausages a little bit longer. Bits of them are very raw. Do do do, hope you can add the sound effects in afterwards. Do do do. And I'm done. Bring in Paul. Oh. Yeah. Un momento, chef. <laughs> what up? Seamless. Oh, wow. Actually, holy moly. What do you think? Definitely. The presentation on that is unbelievable. Hi. Oh, you wouldn't get that in the cafe. That's unreal. No, deadly. Fair play. Actually, good for one. <laughs> yeah, that's unreal. Look at that and the whole lot. Look at that. Okay, there may have been more brown bread, but I ate some of it. That's okay. I'll share brown bread anyway. You, you can have some bread. Okay. Uh, so the egg, the fact that the egg is still a little bit runny, but also still got that little hard bit going on. Like that's best both worlds. Oh, look at that. This that's... is like dog torture right now. Oh no, yeah, no. Maybe you get a nibble of like, you know, like some little thing. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. It's good? Mm -hmm. It's good? I put that in a bread. You know, bread sandwich, sausage sandwich, a mm -hmm. bit of red sauce. There you are. How do you feel about pudding? Hmm. I like both puddings. I'm yeah. a pudding man, you I know? have some pudding, tell me how it is. All I right. didn't really know how well to cook it because I don't eat it, so I didn't really know. So I just cooked it well, but not like hard well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, marks out of 10 for my Irish breakfast. Oh, presentation up there. I can't really deny it any marks anywhere. So, it's a first off 10 out of 10. Oh my god, I got a 10 out of 10. I was drinking it. I can't fault it. Like, 
like the brown bread, perfect, sausages, yummy too. Both, like I put the boat in a sandwich, got the beans going on there. So I was literally hoping in my car on the way over, hope she has the beans, hope she didn't leave beans out. Beans. Have we finished our bottle? Um, I'm finished, I'm finished with a nice cup of tea. How's the tea? Well, it turns out I can finally cook something right. No, in fairness, I give you all the marks for that. Like, you didn't go anywhere wrong in that. Thanks. Today's video goes out to a couple of patrons. The first one is the lovely Kerry Ann. Kerry Ann is a brand new viewer to the channel, and I really hope she's enjoying the videos. Thanks a lot, Kerry Ann. And the second one is Jim Weed, whose YouTube channel is linked in the description box below. Go check it out. That's it for today. Feel free to engage with one another in the comments in a respectful way, and I'll see you at the end of. The weekend. That was <laughs> funny sentence. Before I get into the video, do be sure to Before I get into the video, do be sure to subscribe or you will and warm and style. <laughs> A couple of you guys have Sit. <laughs> um, I uh Yeah, well you can get a t-shirt. Go under your hoodie because you bought the two of them, right? <laughs> I smell like alcohol. I have so many two in the afternoon. Get out. Get out. Chewie, you can't be here when I'm cooking. It's dangerous. I've actually been off the drink for a while. This is. this. I'm good. I've been good. <laughs>